our staff has prepared something to remember Father Steve. Um, also, Mary will give sort of a eulogy and then we'll put on the slide. Mary Lee will do a song. All this just to remember Father Steve. Good morning. Before I begin, uh, I would like to, in the name of our parish community, give a warm welcome to all of Father Steve's uh, relatives and friends that are here with us to honor him this morning. Since 1945, when St. Christine's Parish was founded, God has blessed our faith community with a series of extraordinary pastors and Father Steve Boyle was no exception. Before Father Steve arrived at St. Christine's in June 2018, we asked Father Tom Walsh what he was like. And Father Tom said, he's a great guy and a great priest. And boy, was Father Tom right. Personally, I've never met a kinder, caring, more compassionate person than Father Steve. He would do anything to serve and help his parishioners and anyone else whose spiritual or corporal needs came to his attention. Genuine, humble, and down to earth, Father Steve was proud to have grown up in Southie. It was there in middle school that he first thought about becoming a priest. He could relate to anyone, from the homeless person who came to the rectory for food money to babies, young parents, children, teens, young adults, elders, the sick, the dying, and the bereaved. Father Steve had a childlike heart that radiated love, acceptance, and kindness. That childlike heart paved the way for many of us to come to know Jesus' love for us in a deeper way through Father Steve. Father Steve never let his impressive intellect hide his heart or soul. He loved with his whole being, and he had little ambition or greed, except when it came to trips to Disney World and Disney souvenirs. He couldn't get enough of those. We all have so many memories of Father Steve's love in action. During the height of COVID, he performed over 70 individual baptisms instead of group baptisms so that our young families would feel comfortable and safe. One young mother of twins wrote that she came back to the church because of the impact that Father Steve had on her and her family when he baptized her babies. Father Steve celebrated triple the usual amount of First Holy Communion Masses during that same period to ensure the well-being of the children and their families, to watch as he knelt, often in pain, so that he was eye to eye with each child as he gave them Jesus, the Eucharist, the most precious gift of all, was incredible. To see each family member in awe was also a great gift. He was pure love, and his humility was overpowering. Last winter, we had a record number of funerals, and yet Father Steve took the time to research and get to know each grieving family so he could make the funeral as holy, intimate, and meaningful as possible. During the funeral mass, he would address the spouse, siblings, adult children and grandchildren of the deceased individually, comforting them and reminding them of the great gift of our Catholic faith. He made sure that the family knew how loved they were by God and our church community. 
He was never afraid to tell his own personal stories of loss either. Last Ash Wednesday, knowing that many people did not feel safe coming to Mass, Father Steve advertised that St. Christine's would be giving ashes all day. Over 350 people came to pray and receive their ashes that day, some driving from as far away as Rhode Island. At one of Father Steve's first masses here that he celebrated for the children and their families, he began his homily by first retreating to the sacristy and blasting the song, Let It Go, from the Disney hit Frozen. He then tied the gospel of the day to the moral message of the movie, capturing everyone's attention. We all know that his dogs were his beloved children, and he often brought them to church, sometimes in costumes. One day, he brought his dog Coco to a penance service and held him tenderly, just like the Good Shepherd. He told the children about a time that he had come home and couldn't find Coco. Coco was hiding because he had done something very bad. Father Steve finally found Coco, and he seemed ashamed. He told Coco that he loved him, and he would always love him no matter what he did. Then he compared this love to Jesus' unconditional love for us, teaching us that Jesus will always love us un unconditionally and forever. Because he was a child at heart, Father Steve was full of fun and mischief. He dressed in a long black cape to take the polar plunge into the ocean on New Year's Day in Hammerock. He insisted on decorating every square inch of the rectory to welcome the children and their families for the Christmas open house. On Halloween, he always bought enough candy to feed an army of children, and he scared the living daylights out of the staff members when he positioned a huge talking Dracula at the entrance of our offices. Of course, Dracula was accompanied by a bushel basket of candy. In, remember, in remembering Father Steve, we recall the gospel where Jesus answers the question, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus calls a little child to him and says, I tell you, you must change and become like little children. Otherwise, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. What does it mean to become a little child? A little child is humble, trusting, quick to rejoice, quick to forgive, and simple. Sounds like a description of Father Steve, doesn't it? When we think of Father Steve, we think of his mischievous smile, his open heart to listen to people who are struggling, his love of God that he always shared with us in his homilies, and simply a pastor to us all in any way we needed. Father Steve will be sorely missed, but will be loved in our hearts forever. Because we knew him, we have been changed for the better. Because we knew him, we have been changed for good. Our thoughts and prayers continue to be with Tricia, John, Brian, Paul, and their families, as well as Father Steve's friends and fellow priests. We also thank all our parishioners who sent him hundreds and hundreds of cards and letters of encouragement right up until the time of his passing. Father Steve, may perpetual light shine upon you, and may your soul and all the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen.
I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who'd help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better, but because I knew you, I have been changed. That we will never meet again in this lifetime. So let me say before we part, so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And now, whatever way our story. Like a seed dropped by a skybird in a different world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? I do believe I have been changed for the better. And because I knew. I knew you because I knew you. I have been changed for good. Before we leave, I'd like to thank everyone that prepared this little tribute to Father Steve. Also, you'll find at the back or at the entrance of the church these remembrance cards that Mark McDonald has donated to the church, so you can take it as a family there in the back. Also, as you know, there are a group of people that are trying to maintain our church, maintain St. Teresa as well. Remember, St. Teresa is part of us. So they are doing this raffle. They're selling tickets at the entrance of the church. Hopefully, you can contribute to the maintenance of St. Teresa and St. Christine. I would like to thank the family for being here with us. I'm sure it's not easy to keep remembering these things, right? But it's also a, a thank you that you give to the people by your presence. It's a thank you that you say to the people for the way they have loved Father Steve here. 
in the way they have taken care of him. And thank you for all for coming. The Mass is a little bit longer, but you don't mind it, huh? Because it's a tribute to a good man, a good servant of God, and a good servant of the Church. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary. Rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Have a good week.